Hey guys, my name is Miranda and today I'm here to do a book review of The Accident Season by what I think is pronounced Moria Fowley Doyle. I'm not positive on that. I could be completely wrong, and I probably am. If you haven't heard of it, it's a book that's been getting quite a lot of attention on Goodreads, I feel like, and it's about a girl named Kara, or Kara, that's up for debate how you pronounce her name. She and her family are under this, like, mysterious kind of curse thing that you don't really know, where every October all these accidents happen to them, and it can be, like, anything from stubbing your toe on the coffee table to getting hit by a car. Like, it varies greatly but the main thing is that it happens every October and it gets worse as the month progresses. When this book starts out we are knee deep in October so accidents have been happening left and right. Kara's best friend Dee who is very into like tarot card reading she sees in her cards that this is going to be one of the worst accident seasons they've ever had and the whole other mystery that kind of starts this book is that Kara realizes this girl from school Elise is in all her pictures that she's ever taken of herself even when they're like not at school somehow like Elise's elbow or her hair is in the picture and when she wants to confront Elise about this Elise mysteriously disappears so we've kind of got those two stories running congruently with each other throughout this novel. However the big thing that you have to realized about this novel is I had no freaking clue what I was reading. Like I was expecting it to be so 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 good and halfway through I realized that I had no idea what I was reading. I was like is this supernatural? Is this just Carl is like a crazy person seeing people and hearing voices because it's very I feel like left up to interpretation where it's like she hears things and she sees things, but then other people don't, so it makes me think that she's crazy and not that this is a real ghost story. And I have to say I'm really, really disappointed that I didn't love this book because the idea of all these accidents happening in one month to this one family, it felt so original and so unique to me. But like I said, the more you read it, it was just like, it felt kind of not only like unoriginal in that it felt like ideas we've played out before and we've seen before but the main characters were also like really unrelatable and really dumb and I hate that. A lot of it they would like smoke cigarettes, do like stuff that felt like rebellious and cool in the 80s and nowadays it just feels like really outdated. Like I know no kid who sneaks out to lunch to go smoke cigarettes. Sure there are people but it's not just like this prevalent thing that the book tries to make it seem to be. And then the other thing is like I said they are incredibly dumb because it's like if this were me or someone I knew I feel like would take the utmost care in doing things and just like go to school, go home, like try and live a somewhat normal life but also be very precautious in what I'm doing. They kind of explain that yeah the mom basically tried to like lock them all away one month and see if that would help and it didn't work but still, still. Like 20 pages in, so this isn't a spoiler, Kara comes up with the brilliant idea that they should throw a Halloween party and I'm like R really? Really? You want to throw a Halloween party, meaning it will be the last day of the month when everything gets the worst for the accident season because that's the last day of the month, and after your best friend just told you that this is going to be the worst accident season in history. Your your immediate reaction is like, let's throw a party. I mean, let's, let's go. Let's live. And I'm just like, what? Like, what are you thinking? It's just, oh my gosh, it's just so many things. And then, like I said, it's just very confusing because I felt initially that this was going to be like a ghost story, like we're going to find out that there's a cause to the accident season and they're going to have to defeat the ghosty and then boom, everything's going to be normal again. No, that didn't happen at all. Instead, we get like this hodgepodge of like hallucinations maybe or maybe they're not hallucinations and it's not like Mara Dyer. You're looking at someone who loved Mara Dyer. So I get like when it's an unreliable narrative. This was not the case at all. This was like literally I was like I don't know if the author wants me to read this as actually happening or wants me to read this as Kara like has made these people in her mind because she can't deal like with past traumas and the accident season and all that. Like I literally have no idea what I was supposed to get out of this book and it's just so so confusing. This isn't spoiling because it happens like 10 pages into the book but there's like things with like change lanes where you're like okay so now it's fairies or is this real or is this not real and it just feels very weird and you're still not sure if like Kara is imagining it or not and you're just confused and I was like I don't I don't know 
what's happening with this book. Like, I need to go on Wikipedia and literally, like, read what they say is the plot because I have no idea what just happened. And then also the romance. The romance, let me tell you. Let me tell you. This, this romance is one of my favorite romances. Like, the idea of the romance. So, when I tell you that I absolutely, like, did not understand the romance at all, you know that it's bad because normally I'm like, these romances are the best! And you can tell who she's gonna end up with, so I'm not gonna say it, but it's pretty obvious if you read the back who she's gonna end up with. But it's just, it's confusing and awkward and like everything, everything! It's like the best way to describe it is just awkward. Like, you get these revelations and they're still not like said out loud word for word or even in a way that like we can jump to a definite conclusion. Like they say something and then you're like, okay, so did they mean this happened, or am I thinking of something? It's just, it's very, very confusing, and it's very disheartening because, like I said, I was expecting this book to be so, so, so good and so original, and it was just, like, outdated with the kids smoking cigarettes and, like, going off on their own and being like, oh, we're so cool because we smoke cigarettes. Look at us. And I'm just like, no, no. Oh, my gosh, it just... There's so much, and I wish I could just give you all the spoilers because I'm so effing confused by this book. So if you have read this book, please enlighten me and tell me what the F I just read. Like, my review on Goodreads is literally like, I have no idea what I just effing read because I don't have any idea what I just effing read. It was so confusing, so, like, muddled and everything, and I'm just like, eh. Like, it literally gives me a headache thinking about it going crazy because of this book. So if you've read this book, Help me out. Help me out to let me know what I'm missing, especially if you really like this book. What what am I missing in this book? I definitely have to give it one out of five stars. I just did not enjoy it at all, and it really sucked because I thought I was going to love it. Like, everyone else seems to be loving it on Goodreads, but alas, that did not happen. So I think that's about going to do it for this book talk. If you've read the book, like I said, leave a comment down below what you thought about it. Just put if you're spoiling for people who may not have read the book because I don't want them looking through the comments and I mean like everyone dies at the end. No, not saying that happens, I'm just using an example. And also make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more book talks where I just, I go crazy because books like these. Uh, and also subscribe to my channel down below to be told when I make all sorts of new videos. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you for listening it's because this book, this book, <sighs> this book is gonna like keep me up just trying to figure out what I just read. Thank you guys again all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!